Let's come together for the 20th anniversary of the Essence Festival presented by Coca-Cola. God call us, God call us. Something preached to God, something preached to God. This is our life, this is our life. This is our life. They call me a hero. the 20th anniversary Essence Music Festival and y'all here they are this is my Wednesday night Bible study remix after I leave the actual church house preachers of LA y'all y'all know what I mean Pastor Ron here Pastor Wayne Pastor Jay so Wednesday um, August 20th is when it comes back on and I know nine central <laughs> and I know you guys have been talking about preachers of LA all day I want to have a little bit of fun okay I'm still a very active drug user. Okay, guess what? Your story is going to be a story of redemption. Right at the dinner table, we had cold cuts, beans, left spinach, and tomatoes. Having sex outside of marriage, it shows my nizzle for shizzle. Somebody and that ain't no doggy fizzle. You see my glory, but you don't know my story. He took me from pushing dope to preaching home. That a man can have a monopoly on his monogamy. I don't just play it. I slay it. He's not new to it. He's true to it. This is not Bible, but babble. Because you're not letting your setback cause you to sit back. But you're preparing for a comeback. Spirit-filled people! <laughs> My name is Ron Gibson, and I approve the word of God. You're into cars. No, not really. Oh, uh, you have a million cars on the show. I'm not into cars. I just don't sell my cars once I pay for them. Okay, this is what you got to do. You got five seconds. No, I'll give you ten seconds. What's your name? To Shawnee. Shawnee, all right. Yes, sir. Okay, ten seconds to give me five classic cars. Go. Five classic cars. Ten, nine, uh, 1957 eight, Bel Air, 1957 six, Corvette, six, classic uh, Ferrari, four, three, a, a classic two, Benzo. One. And he didn't make it. He didn't make it. He didn't make it. He didn't make it. Okay. Moving on to pass away. You know what happened last time you went to the man cave? Yeah. Man cave was heavy. You've been boxing it's anyway. Appearance. So. It's setting yourself up in many respects for, for failure. You're taking out all the hedges in a general sense. Yes. To keep you apart from it. I mean, you're, you're at 2 a.m. and you're feeling it. I mean, are you going to just stay downstairs and pray in tongues? I mean, when she's right upstairs, I mean, you're setting yourself up for failure. And you have people that don't have maybe the discipline that you have that's that are right. following I think you, that's, that's, that you're, you're setting up for failure. Yes. yes, if we're looking at this as a lawyer, it's not officially, technically a sin. But if you're trying to give people wisdom to keep them from falling in the sand, you got to deal with this. So what would you say? Because you know, for a while, for someone to hold down the executive pastor position, I'm thinking about giving my wife that position. I do think you need somebody. I just don't think it should be your wife. The staff really made me think about some things in regard to my wife being the executive pastor. I want to make sure I'm doing the right thing. I'm willing to do whatever is necessary. Mm-hmm. Okay, babe. Come here. It's okay. Listen, nobody else can meet the standard. I want to bring you on as executive pastor. Michelle, why are you trying to get a brother to tear I'm up in the sorry. man church? Has been, that's been one of the taboo subjects. Yeah. Again, we say come as you are, mm -hmm. but as it relates to people that have same-sex attraction and uh, other issues that they wrestle through, I mean, it's really been historically a difficult environment, uh, not just to find grace in, but to find help. Ten seconds okay. to give me five disciples. Go. Ten. Oh, Mark. Nine. Matthew. Eight. Peter, I'm here, and, and, uh, and, uh, and, J, 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 Four, and Wayne Cheney. Three. That's fine. Two. Four. One. Twelve disciples in the Bible. What the, you mean? No, you say Bible. You just say Bible. Okay. You said twelve disciples. Okay, he had ten I seconds want, to think want, about I want, it. I want, I want. <laughs> okay, Pastor James. Jesus, I just ask that you would heal all the hurt. Rick Dog works here. Does he really? Rick Dog, you remember he got saved? Yeah, I Except remember Rick Dog. Came out of the hustling game. Wow. Now he's working. Rick Dog. Right. Right. And we want you to enjoy this. This Come is how we now. do it in Compton, man. That's great to see you, brother. Man. How you been? Man, you know, I've been blessed. Every day I wake up, I look forward to coming here. That's awesome. Yeah. If I can't come here, I'm upset. What you doing good, man? Anything on your mind? You Church worry about anything? Well, you know, I always worry about something. 
I want to show you how to give all that stuff to the Lord, man. Yeah. I know God works in mysterious ways, and he's working with me. Yeah, yeah. And I just try to keep my head up. Mm -hmm. I man upstairs and bless me all the way to the fullest. Mm -hmm. and I, th I thank you for it. Enjoy your food. Thanks, man. See you. Yeah, we have an ex-member at our church, April. She's a skater. She just turned pro. I mean, she's a world-class athlete. How are you? Good, how are you? When I see David and I look into David's eyes, I see April. My mind is, okay, how can I get this person into heaven? Hadn't seen you at church. Yeah. So, you are you going to church anywhere? Yeah, I go to church out in Chino. Is there any reason you hadn't been to church here? The main reason, since I'd come here for so long as April, people right. wouldn't just be able to accept me right away. And that's the big reason. Well, it wouldn't be that you're not accepted. It's just helping other people work through the process. What can I do to help you? Well, you could call me David. That's really important to me. I have tried to not call you by name. Yeah, I know. I've noticed. <laughs> you know, I'm just like, hey, how are you? Because yeah. I don't want to offend you. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to offend God either. I'm having to try to figure this out. It makes sense. You know? Yeah. Cool. You're in the skateboard. Okay. 10 seconds. Give me five skateboard tricks. 10, four, nine. The Mac Twist. Eight, the 740. Six, five, Kick flip. Four, the wheelie. The <laughs> Grain, yeah, front know. side grind. One. How many more? <laughs> and you know what? Your best reality show. You got Preach. five seconds. Okay. Five. Preachers of LA. Four. Real hell's on. Okay. Five. Yes, <laughs> all. That's it. That's but y'all look, the answers were all right there. <laughs> they were all right there. Okay, so. That's not a skateboard, right? We don't do wheelies. <laughs> yeah, that is. And Mr. Dietrich had it. And they are hanging out because... Some of that coffee Dietrich drinking because he's so high. He is. Some, he some coffee. You need some coffee. drink some. You need some coffee. That's a new song. But July 23rd, you can catch them kick off Preachers of L.A. You know Dietrich? Yes. That is my Bible study, the remix. You, you know, Since it comes on Wednesday night. You know it is. That's what people are saying. They're saying they're not going, they're not able to go to Bible class, so they're able to stay home and really deal with some issues that we deal with on the show. So we love that. We love that. I'm gonna hit you with this kid. Care what they say, man. I will never walk away from God. If I love him, who cares if I live with Dietrich had it? That's not God's will that you do that. You shut me out. Should you charge a fee for the gospel? Answer that for us, Bishop McClendon. Should we charge a fee? I don't request okay. an honorary. I ask them, okay. what is it that you have set aside right. for the man of God or for the ministry? Because I don't come alone. And that so, says that your anointing well, don't flow unless you have it. Are you guys shacking? Ron, no disrespect to you. Where do you find shacking, shacking in the word of God? That's a good question. Let me answer it. Sinners, unbelievers, shack. Christian men, they marry. Not what does shacking have to do with anything? You, you, you will let him convince you that shacking is not? To work things out. Bible? Two people come together, you know, from two, two different cultures, two different upbringings. So the challenge itself is wonderful, you know, so uh, it's amazing. I knew it would be amazing, and that's why. Uh, I share I made, the opinion you know, that Ron Gibson was out of order. Dipping in other folk business, writing tickets for what you the marriage police? That man was married Let me before. Cross my legs. Bishop, jo in Bishop, like Bishop Jones' Gibson. defense, he was married before. Yes, he had a relationship with with uh, Loretta for sixteen years, but who said that it was is a sexual relationship? You assuming too much. Leave that man alone. He's had a successful ministry being single. But I'm going to call you out on it. How is it out of order? I know y'all know you're not used to somebody challenging you because you're wearing your collar and you got all that stuff. But out of that, that stuff don't stop me from calling you out. Is it out of order? Okay, listen. This is what I have for you. Okay, you. everybody talked to you about Preachers of L.A., and I know that's wonderful. But this is what I want you to do. We have a game that we play called the 5 and 10. So in 10 seconds, you got to name five things. In 10 seconds, I want you to name five disciples of the Bible. Go. Five disciples. Ten, Peter, nine, John, eight. Matthew, Bartholomew, five. Luke. That's, that's it. Three. He oh, got ten. the five. Ten. Ten, and, right? No. No, what? ten seconds, five. You know, um, your buddy Ron Chaney couldn't do that. He couldn't do it. He didn't get through it. We're okay. Not walking Bibles. That's why you have the Bible so you can turn the page and read it. Okay, real quick, Michelle. I'm going to lay five and ten with you. All right. Michelle, I want you to name five flavors of snow cones. Ten seconds. Go. Ten. Strawberry, blueberry, lemon, mango, pineapple. She did it. Look, y'all. They got that done. Well, thank you guys for stopping by. I know you got to go. 
new show called Fix My Choir on Oxygen. It's hosted by yours spot. truly and Michelle Wiz Williams. Don't miss it. It's going to be crazy. It's good TV. Trust me. All right. Thank you, guys. An anointed man knows how to what? Carry it on into the bedroom. That's all right. Ooh. Go ahead, Bishop Rob. The pulpit pastor is a pastor. When he's at home, he's a man. Oh, he's an animal. I mean, my goodness. Yes. <laughs> They call me a hero.